to all. It's me again, Teacher Jane, and welcome to my channel. Today, we are going to solve problems involving sets using a Venn diagram. What is a Venn diagram? A Venn diagram uses overlapping circles to show how things are alike and different. We use it to summarize inf information, to compare things, and build comprehension. For today's objectives, of course, we are going to solve problems involving sets with the use of Venn diagram. Before we proceed, let's recall first the different operations on sets. So the first one is the union of two sets. Paano nga ba siya i-express using a Venn diagram? So in this case, set A union set B are shaded. So the two circles are shaded because the elements of A and the elements of B are combined. Next is the intersection of two sets. So the intersection of two sets, set A and B, it means that the set of all elements that belong to both A and B. So to express this using a Venn diagram, is shade nyo lang yung overlapping part ng dalawang circles. Ibig sabihin, nandoon yung same elements nila. Okay, next we have complement of a set. The complement of a set is denoted by A prime. These are the set of all elements that belong to the universal set but does not belong to A. So it means that using a Venn diagram, it only denotes that only the shaded part are the elements outside the set A. And the last one is the difference of two sets. So when we say difference of two sets, you are going to eliminate all the elements in A that has the elements of B. So to express this using the Venn diagram, so eliminate natin ang lahat ng elements na meron kay B. So ang matitira lang ay ang unique elements na meron kay A. So let's go back to the activity last time. So we have sets of animals here. So number one, which animals can live on land? Which animals can live in water? Which animals can live both in land and water? From the given set of animals, how are we going to represent this using a Venn diagram? Now to illustrate, let set A contains the animals that lives on land, set B the animals that lives on water. So the animals that live in on land are dogs and cow. The animals that lives in water are catfish and milkfish. While frog and turtles are animals that can live both in land and in water. Now let's solve another problem. Miss Pineda asked a group of students what mobile games do they play. 30 students answered Mobile Legend, 27 students answered Among Us, 12 students answered that they play both Mobile Legend and Among Us, while 5 of them says they do not play any of the game. So the question is, how many students have she asked? How many students plays ML only? Now to illustrate using a Venn diagram, let's use the following keywords. So now, let us analyze. Let set A 
be the number of students that play ML and B are the number of students that play Among Us. 12 students play ML and Among Us. So therefore, 30 minus 12 is 18. 18 students play ML only. While 27 minus 12 is equal to 15, 15 students play Among Us only. And then 5 are the number of students that play neither ML nor Among Us. Now let's have an activity. Let E contains elements J A N E L I, let R contains elements R U E D A S, and let T contains elements T E A C H R. Show or illustrate their relations using a Venn diagram. So, that's all for today. Thank you for watching this video. Kung nagustuhan mo ang video na to, please don't hesitate to like and share. At kung hindi ka pa nakasubscribe sa aking channel, magsubscribe ka na and don't forget to click that notification bell para updated ka sa next new uploads ko. Goodbye!